A PIL was filed in Calcutta High Court by a group of social activists in September 2023. It contains serious allegations regarding biomedical waste trafficking in Bengal. A private company has been bypassing proper treatment of hazardous biomedical waste to avoid effort and expense. The company charges a hefty fee from the State Health Department for Waste Management, breaks every rule in the book and then earns crores. The company has been procuring most of the plastic waste from government hospitals and the contaminated waste items are then rearranged and repacked without any treatment for sale by racketeers in the open market or sold back to healthcare facilities via illegal channels for reuse. Recently, CBI, investigating the horrific rape and murder of a trainee doctor at Calcutta State Run RG Gaur Medical College and Hospital, accused his ex-principal Shondeep Ghosh of illegal financial transactions. One such transaction involves biomedical waste trafficking, a practice that is apparently rampant in hospitals and healthcare units across India. But what is it? We get to the bottom of it. First things first, what is biomedical waste? It is waste generated by healthcare activities from the time of diagnosis, during treatment and at the time of immunization. India generates about 700 tonnes per day of biomedical waste, of which 640 TPD is treated and 43 TPD is treated in Bengal. And what is the source of the biomedical waste? Hospitals, healthcare facilities, laboratories, research centres, mortuaries, autopsy centres, animal research and testing laboratories, blood banks and collection services. Of all the biomedical waste that is generated, what is hazardous? 1. Infectious waste, that is contaminated with blood, bodily fluids, cultures and stocks of infectious agents and waste from patients with infections. 2. Pathological waste, which include human tissues, organs and fluids, body parts and contaminated animal carcasses. 3. Sharp waste, which include syringes, needles, disposable scalpels, disposable blades. 4. Chemical waste, solvents used for laboratory preparations, disinfectants, sterilants and heavy metals contained in medical devices and batteries. 5. Pharmaceutical waste, which include expired, unused and contaminated drugs and vaccines. 6. Cytotoxic waste, which includes substances with genotoxic properties and cytotoxic drugs used in cancer treatment. 7. Radioactive waste, which include products contaminated by radionuclides, radioactive diagnostic material and radiotherapeutic materials. Who can handle biomedical waste? 1. All healthcare units provided they have obtained authorization from the State Pollution Control Board. 2. Private companies require special authorization from Pollution Control Board to operate common biomedical waste treatment and disposable facility. There are majorly three stages of management of biomedical waste. Stage 1 includes segregation and storage in colour-coded containers. Each colour-coded container must be labelled and barcoded according to protocol set by the Central Pollution Control Board of India. In Stage 2, the segregated waste is transported in specially designed vehicles to the disposable facilities. In Stage 3, the disposable facilities then treat the waste. The treatment of biomedical waste is done in three stages. Incineration, which is burning, autoclaving, which is sterilizing in steam, and three, microwaving. Plastic waste can only be recycled after thorough three stage treatment. But human waste is first incinerated and then buried deep in secure landfills. How is the color wise segregation of biomedical waste done? Body parts, organs, fetuses, soil dressing, discarded or expired medicines, blood bags, chemical waste, discarded linen, mattresses, beddings contaminated with blood or body fluids, masks and gowns are segregated in yellow containers. Recyclable plastic waste such as intravenous tubes, catheters, urine bags and saline bags are segregated in red containers. Broken glassware, medicine vials and ampules are segregated in blue containers. Needles, syringes, scalpels and blades are segregated in white containers. Non-adherence to colour-wise segregation of waste may lead to imprisonment up to 5 years or a fine of Rs 1 lakh or both. For continuing offence, a fine of Rs 5,000 per day. And continuing offence for a period of 1 year may result in imprisonment which may extend to 7 years. And now, the most important question, how is biomedical waste trafficked? 
approximately 60% of biomedical waste generated in the healthcare units reach the disposable facilities. With the amount of waste transferred to disposable facility vehicles from healthcare units often do not match occupancy numbers of hospitals. So how is the waste trafficked? 1. Waste often disappears at the source during transit to the disposable facilities. 2. The contaminated recyclable plastic waste is often not segregated in many healthcare units, especially government hospitals. 3. Waste is often collected directly from hospital wards by racketeers who are in collusion with hospital staff. And 4. There are often hot spots where racketeers intercept vehicles carrying the waste to the disposable facilities.